Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this Blink Outdoor Camera Floodlight. So you get an outdoor Blink camera and it comes with this floodlight. Here's the mounting brackets. I'm gonna show you how to install it, set it up, and see how it does. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is connect your outdoor Blink camera to your Blink app. Because you've gotta gain access to this compartment in here to scan the code and to put the batteries in. So before we do any of these kind of hookups, we want to make sure this camera is connected to our app and our phone. So you're simply going to unscrew this screw right here and then this cover will come off. Now you're going to see it talks about these white 1.5 lithium only batteries. I like to use these, these Energizers, Ultimate Lithium, because these hold up to uh, temperature fluctuations and they do really good in like cold weather. So you're simply going to put negative to positive on this side. The positive goes up. And then the other one is gonna go down. So it's just the opposite. Now right here is the QR code that you're gonna scan with your phone. Once you've got your, your camera all connected, then we can put this back on. There's a little cutout right here and then screw this down to make it watertight. Okay, so you're gonna click, once you're in the app, you're gonna click this little plus button right here. And we're gonna add a blink wireless camera right here. So you'll give your camera or your phone permission to use your camera and then you'll point your camera at that QR code right there. Now mine is updating the firmware right away on the camera, so that might take a minute. Okay, so it gives it some weird name. You're gonna wanna go in and change the name right away. So I'm gonna go in here and give it a name like Outdoor. But you can also do all kinds of different things. You know, you can tell the battery, the temperature. Um, you can go in here and enable motion detection of like zones that it's gonna record. So there's a lot you can do in that camera settings. I changed the name of it. That way it's got a nice name. Now, if you wanna take a picture, just take the picture button. If you wanna turn the live view on, hit the camera button. Okay, so now we're done with the camera. It's communicating, connected to the Wi-Fi. We gotta go over to this unit now. So you're gonna, there's an unlock button here. You're gonna rotate this. This back cover comes off. You're gonna pinch these two tabs. Then this comes off. There's a piece of plastic here. You've gotta remove this piece of plastic so that the batteries are activated now. Now, this did come with big D Duracell D batteries. It takes four of them. Now we're gonna put this cover back on. And you'll see the springs are kind of down for these that are down. So let's line it up and, and snap it on. Okay, oh, when I snapped it on, it did. the lights did come on for just a second. Now let's put this cover back on. Start at the unlock position and go to lock. All right. So if we look at our camera, we have this micro USB cover right here. We're gonna pull this cover up. This is gonna connect to it. Now you gotta be careful. So this connector from the floodlight will only go one way. Make sure you don't put it in the wrong way. So that there's like a the, the small line is at the top and the big is at the bottom. So you're gonna put it on. Okay, so we gotta kind of, it's got the waterproof um, surrounding around it. So we gotta put like the connector on. So I opened up the battery compartment. I, I'm gonna take this off, this um, waterproof cover here. It just, there's a little hook for it. That it it's hooked onto right there. Just, just take it off. Now I'm gonna put this back on. Now I don't have that thing in the way. Again, I can line this up. You can kind of get the connector on first and then there, yeah. Now it's nice and flush. This is gonna create our watertight seal. Yeah, make sure that goes all the way around. It's all nice and flush. My connector is connected. Now, if you sometimes the light comes on. I'm not sure what's going on yet, but we've got it connected. Now you've got to snap. There was a piece of rubber right here. Take that off. That's going to snap onto that. Now that can take a little bit of force. What I did is I just put my thumbs right here, and these two fingers were holding that clamp and it just snapped on. Now it's got a pivot joint. I can see everything is good. I can see now, okay, now I can pivot the camera 
And the word blink, you should be able to read. This should go up, the motion sensor. Now I can pivot the camera and everything is connected to this. Now this is the mount. It's got the word up. So you're going to mount this on your wall, a tree, a building. It does come with some screws to mount it with. Now this is the no drill for vinyl siding. So you can stick that under the ledge of the vinyl siding and then you can attach. This will hang on there. So no drill. You don't necessarily need a drill for this. That will attach to your siding. Go in there and clip underneath the underside of it. But this slides in from the side. You'll see there's openings right here. So it's going to slide in from the right and then click. This is how it's going to mount. Then there's a little, it is locked into place until I pull this little tab down. Then I can slide it in and out. So that's how you're going to mount this up on a tree to your building. All right, let's go just overall dimensions really quick. So with the cameras, about six and a half, you know, left to right, 10, up down is about four. Now, these are the floodlights. You're going to kind of want to aim these to where the camera is aimed. You know, I could move it over here. This one doesn't. It goes up down, but it doesn't go too much that way. I can rotate, yeah, I can rotate these. So I can rotate this, turn it this way, and kind of get right where the camera is. So the floodlight will come on where the camera's at, but this one won't go that far. Up, down, you know, that's about the extent of the camera. It does go, going down can be tricky because the cable's getting in the way. We can go pretty far down. And then you could mount these down. So there's kind of like the down angle. Okay, so as soon as I hooked the camera up to this and, and took that piece of plastic off the batteries, this came up. I'm gonna click Customize Flood Settings. So again, this is a really nice feature in there. It tells us the, the uh, Battery level, light activation by motion, auto shutoff timer, 15 seconds. So there's all kinds of different settings we can go in there. But it looks like the settings are underneath the camera settings. If you scroll down, it's kind of hidden, but now you'll see floodlight. Now here's the floodlight settings. So they're under the camera settings for the, for the camera. So a neat little thing now, now on my camera view, I can turn the floodlight on and off. There's these two little buttons. See, I got other cameras that don't have this. So click that button and I can turn that floodlight on. Takes it a minute and then I can turn the floodlight off. Okay, so here I am in a dark room. You know, the floodlight is pretty bright. So I'm really happy with this Blink Outdoor Floodlight. I hope my video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.